Good morning, guys. I have been doing some exploration here on YouTube, and I have a vast repository of how to start a business knowledge. So one of the things I started doing was I was checking the YouTubes to see what videos do well. And some very interesting came up. There's virtually no how to start a business from scratch in the raw content of training on YouTube. There's like none. It is a lot of template business. Like this is really hot right now. You buy a box truck for Amazon Relay. Very, very hot. Semi trucking, buying semi trucks. Very, very hot. Airbnb, very, very hot. And it's a lot of how you can do this, how you can potentially get into this business, but there's no detailed roadmaps or instruction how to actually get into business. It, it was funny because uh, I actually did a search on videos talking about how to sell. And I watched them and there was a lot of conjecture. There was a lot of fluff. And not one person said, you know, because I'm about to give you a little sauce here. If you want to sell someone to a product to someone, you know, the first thing you need to ascertain, do they need your product? That's the first thing. Like I hear all this stuff. I can sell ice to Eskimo. You know, I can sell fire to the devil, you know, and essentially selling is matching up wants and needs. That, that's, that's really the, the gist of it. I'm going to do a course on that. But I've been really looking at this since I've made this pivot to the franchise tag where I'm not going to talk about hustle stuff. It is absolutely stunning how, because, you know, I was in my hustle lane, hustlers kung fu, and I, I really wasn't looking up. Now that I have gone up a few notches and I'm looking down, there, there's virtually no one, excuse me, let's talk about the business credit thing. That is huge, huge. But I've not seen the video how to use business credit. I've seen video after video how to get business credit, but, or the application of business credit, like I cover this in the business credit course at the Art of Holding. I talk about that. And what I am seeing, and this is really, really scary. I am seeing a proliferation of internet entrepreneurs who've never run a business outside of their internet business. And it's starting to show because a lot of these guys, you know, embellishment is one thing. Like you make uh, 150,000 and you say 200,000. That ain't really, that's not a biggie. But when you've only made six figures and you're saying you're an eight figure earner, and also what's happening is CoffeeZilla, there's another guy, they're starting to dig into the backgrounds of these guys. And essentially, you know, um, there's one guy I have some issues with. When you Google him, you cannot find nothing. And he supposedly had this big exit. He sold it. Typically, let's take Manny Corb Corbishan. Manny Corbishan, you Google him, he's on YouTube. He's got like a $30 million car collection. When you Google Manny, you find a lot of stuff. You find businesses, you find projects, but this is why he has the money to have a $30 million car collection because he's actually doing business. But what is happening is what I call the YouTube, the Instagram algorithm trigger content. And since, you know, I've had a talk to myself, I actually was in the bathroom there talking to myself. It's like, okay, we make this pivot. We're our views are going to go down. Just go ahead and brace for it because people are looking for hustling stuff. And essentially what you're seeing on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook is algorithm trigger type content versus actually how to build a business from scratch content. 
this is what you're seeing. This is all over the place. Because uh, my assistant, who, who's off this week, because she had a death in the family, um, we're finding out, because her job is to research YouTube channels so we can run ads on it, and I'm finding out that the majority of YouTube channels are built incorrectly, they don't have a strategy, and I'm finding in certain niches, like, you know, with how to start a business, I assumed, because I wasn't looking, that there would be like hundreds of, there's not hundreds of channels. There's a lot of hustle channels, a lot of hustle channels. That is about 90% of the business content on YouTube. How to hustle or how to get in this template business. Or there's one girl, Christina Villalagas. She's a stripper and people just love this chick. She makes a lot of her money from YouTube. Her, ch her channel's got like a million subscribers. And she just comes off and she, you know, she's an attractive girl and she has a very nice, you know, girl next door type personality and people love her. So you see a lot of how to be a stripper that, you know, her channel is the biggest, but there's a few others. And essentially I got a lot of work to do because I'm going to get into topics that will not trigger the YouTube algorithm because I'm gonna give you the information like the last video. You don't have to be a billionaire. You don't even have to be a millionaire to be rich. And I, I'm breaking down the numbers because like if you make $250,000 a year in 48 states in the country, you Gucci, you're good. You got more money than you can spend. 250, not a million, not a billion. And I'm gonna bring a more realistic version to the space in more realistic conversations and more realistic actionable content because now that I have time to, because essentially what I'm doing is I'm spending a day creating training and content and then I spend the day doing research and shooting videos and doing batch shooting and it's working much, much better. Um, one of the things that I am seeing is there's a lot of successful entrepreneurs. There are a lot of successful business people and the vast majority of them are not on YouTube. They're not on social media and you pass these people every day when you're driving on the highway because they're out there doing their thing. The vast majority of these people are not on YouTube instagram you know they may have an instagram account where they'll show some pictures and stuff and their, their accounts are not that huge and these are the real business people these are people doing real business making real money and essentially what you have are a lot of posers because typically when i watch a video and someone's talking about like i'll, I'll mention names wesley billionaire virgin I watched his videos and he's talking about making money, but to me, this guy is not an entrepreneur. He is a internet entrepreneur. He has created an internet product and he's created an internet funnel. But in terms of if you took Wesley and said, Hey, we need you to start this kind of business. He couldn't do it. He don't have the skills. He just simply doesn't have the skills. Whereas I, if I was thrown in an environment where, hey, Glennon, we got this challenge, we need you to start this brick and mortar business, I could do it because I've done it before. Or we need you to start this guy. You know, there are many, many businesses that I have started. I have ran a full, you know, a new commercial office furniture business. I've run a retail resale business. I've sold, I ran a selling office new furniture on the website. And I run a YouTube business. I've run a training business, consulting business. And, but here's the thing. I've run businesses before YouTube and I made money before YouTube and I made money utilizing the internet with my business. I really wish that I had started filming and documenting when I was in the storage auction business. I think that would have been some really good content. But what I'm saying is 
based upon my business experience, there's a lot of like clubhouse right now is a hot mess. Uh, like I'll go into a room and there'll be someone that'll be talking about some just noise, just essentially noise. And I'll be in and out of that room because there is no, because here, here's the thing. Why clubhouse doesn't work for busy people. If you are an internet entrepreneur and you have this, uh, collection of internet entrepreneur friends and y'all can DM and y'all can show up in the clubhouse room and y'all can talk about, you know, bringing value coming to the stage. But if you're truly a busy entrepreneur, you just don't have the time to go to clubhouse, sit in a room and hope to hear something relevant. Uh, there's one room that I, I I've, I've been to about three times, but you know what? They have a schedule. It's like at 6 p.m. on Wednesday, we're gonna talk about investing and that they stick to their schedule. So I know at 6 p.m. I can go in this room, but there's these other rooms that they just go on and blah, 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 blah. And they're like, we're bringing value to the stage. And you know, Clubhouse, it ain't working for me. I am on Clubhouse. I have found a little bit of value, but as a person who is busy, as a person who has things to do, I don't have time to sit around and wait until someone may come up with something interesting to say on Clubhouse. So that doesn't work for me. And I don't think it's gonna work for any other business person who is really busy and is running a business. I don't think it's gonna work. Uh, essentially, if they're at that stage where their business can work without them and they have a lot of free time, maybe but this is just an observation because i have a question for you guys are you guys looking for real business content or are you looking for hustle content or are you looking for template content because a template business amazon fba trucking business it's like okay um hood estates a uh, good dude he has a course he's teaching people how to get in trucking um, there's a lot of Amazon FBA courses, template. It's like, here's a template. You do this, you will be successful. And are you looking for a template business? Are you looking for a hustle? Are you really looking? Cause essentially, uh, let me go ahead and give you the thesis for real entrepreneurs, real business. I want to bring a collection of entrepreneurs to YouTube that are really running businesses. Um, one of the things that was such a struggle the first time I did it was vetting credibility. But see, I'm gonna bring some of my friends on, people I actually know, and I know what they do, and I know what kind of money they make, and I'm gonna bring them on, and then I'm gonna leverage that into a network, because with the research, because today is a research day, and just looking at what works on YouTube may not necessarily be the content and information that you need to start a real business. Because like I said, YouTube is a great facilitator and amplifier. Let's take Andre Jack. He's in the personal finance space. And this guy leveraged a $200,000 dividend stock portfolio into a $1.7 million payday. Now, cause you know, he has exceptional production value. He's a likable guy. And he was, at, he was able to leverage his experience, five years of experience in dividend stocks to a Discord group, a Patreon group, and the dude made a lot of money because YouTube is a great amplifier. YouTube will, if you're really good on a little thing and you bring it to YouTube, YouTube will amplify it like you will, like this is one of the reasons I love YouTube. YouTube is a, a massive amplifier and you know, if I wanted to learn about dividend stock, I would watch Andrew Jack because this is something he knows very well. I would not watch Andrew Jack for how to hustle or start a business. Uh, there's another guy who's coming up, uh, Ryan Pineda, and he's doing a lot. He's, he's a real business person. He has a real business but he is in terms or is doing a lot of YouTube stuff that has nothing to do with real business. And you know, 
Right now, he literally, it, it's kind of funny. The number, like Google, go to YouTube and put in couch flipping, and you'll see his video and all these other people because he has put out a video that has created a template hustle. How to couch flip. And a lot of people out here trying to flip couches because people are looking for templates, blueprints. Um, they're looking for assured success. And this is what I am seeing, that, you know, because the couch flipping video, I think it's got like half a million views or a million views. I don't know at the moment. But this is the stuff that people on YouTube, and I asked this question, I'm gonna ask it again. Are you looking for true business content? Are you looking for template business content? Are you looking for hustle content? Because essentially people, and this is something I learned in my YouTube mastermind, is people trigger the algorithm. Because, you know, are they selling drugs, forcing drugs on people, or do drugs sell because people want drugs? And the answer is people want drugs. People want weed. People want cocaine, people want alcohol, people want cigarettes. And these vices sell because this is what people want. No one is putting a gun to someone's head and say, hey, smoke that joint. So I feel, and I may be a little off base with this, but I feel that the proliferation of hustle content first, template content second, and real business advice of distant, distant third is because that's what you guys want. Or, you know, put it in the comments. Let me know your feelings on this because it is very interesting now that I am up here because I'm not gonna do any more hustle content. JT Hustles, Raised Entrepreneur, J Rich, uh, the Black Hustle Club, they got that lane. God bless them, much success to those guys. I am moving into a different lane, and this is something that I feel is going to happen. And it hit me this morning when I was laying in bed, that once I get this built out the way that I want to, this channel is gonna start growing again. At first, it's gonna take a hit, because people are gonna be like, Uncle G is not doing the content I want Uncle G to do. So I'm gonna stop watching, and those people, Thank you for being here. Appreciate your viewership while it was there. But I understand if we have to part ways, you know, a person's gotta do what they gotta do. But I feel that once I get this really cooking with gas, it's gonna explode. You know why? Cause there's no one else doing real business content. There, there's very, there, I shouldn't, that's not true. There are a few people who are doing business content and they have real businesses, but they don't know how to work YouTube, so their channels are really, really small. They may put up a video that is loaded with gold, good content, and it may get 12 or 30 views because they don't know how to title their stuff. They don't know, you know, because essentially it's a fine balancing act because um, I put up a video on Savage Finance because not only am I doing this over here, at the franchise tag, but I'm changing up the content at Savage Finance because once again, there's no content on YouTube for people with money. Everything is predicated to people who don't have money. So it's gonna be a very interesting next six months because I feel, like I said, I'm gonna take that hit. That's fine, that's cool because I know it's coming. But once I start to move, because I have a feeling that a certain category of videos are going to start popping because there's no one else on YouTube doing it. They're all doing content to trigger the algorithm and the algorithm is programmed by you. So that, you know, a friend of mine, he had this really good saying, he said, sell what people are buying. And I'm about to do a pivot I am not about to start selling what people are buying. I know people want the hustle content. I know that people want, you know, to do vending machine or to get into trucking or to do Airbnb. I am gonna stay away from those topics because as someone who was a weird little kid studying business in high school, there's a million 
million different businesses out there. Like take the guy who created the technology to make the iPhone, the iPad, and touch computers possible. It's an Asian dude. He created this technology where you can touch a screen and your finger, he became a billionaire. And we're gonna be talking about that kind of stuff. And we're gonna be talking about some weird stuff. And you know, if I can bring on someone I know who has a business, and we're gonna talk about the nuts and bolts of businesses. And we're gonna talk about, you know, it's a whole wholesale change of the content of this channel. And essentially I have told myself that I'm starting my YouTube channel from scratch, from a mentally healthy perspective, because if I keep looking at it like, man, I got all these videos and you know, it's gone. Starting it from scratch. And for the people who wanna go on the new ride, awesome. And for the folks who feel that they have to leave the room, understand, this ain't what you're looking for. Got it. Appreciate you while you were here. So one of the things that I, I am just seeing this because my, my mind is literally exploding that YouTube is such a massive platform and there's virtually no real actionable business content. There's a ton of stuff like how to get business credit. There's a ton of stuff about Amazon Relay. Literally, Amazon Relay is so hot, you can start, like I'm seeing dudes who have like one, two, 3,000 subscribers, their videos getting five, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 views. Everyone wants to get into trucking. And once again, as I predicted in my other video, it's only a matter of time before they're saturated. And once we get to a saturation point, you're gonna see downward pricing pressure and you're gonna to start to see a collapse because I have never stayed in the Amazon, F I've never stayed in the Airbnb. Um, maybe we'll book one in the future, I don't know. I've never stayed in the Airbnb. And when I travel, I'm a luxury travel. I, I, I fly first class. I don't stay in less than the four star. So I gotta see how that's gonna work because I'm not gonna say I'm never gonna do that because I don't know, but I know me. And there's a lot of people like me who are luxury travels. So we, we will see how this goes. I am not excited about staying in someone's two bedroom apartment with cheap furnishings. It doesn't excite me. Uh, if you're a budget traveler, that may be up your road. But that doesn't excite me. I like luxury. So we're going to get into that. But once again, and I'm asking this question for the third time, what type of content are you looking for? Are you looking for template, how to do this business because it's popular? Or are you looking for hustle content for the culture, doing it for the culture? Or are you looking for advice to start your business that you have in your heart that you want to start? Let me know. And for those of you who want to get into business, I have the art of holding. Now, here's the thing. The LLC holding company stuff is built out and the business credit stuff is built out. And we're gonna get with the corporate banking and some other stuff. And where the real value is, what we're talking about in this, this, this whole uh, video is how to build a business from scratch. You might have an ideal and we, we will probably discuss this because like I said, right now I'm putting up content in the art of holding and what I want to do is get that built out so that you guys are good. And then next week I want to start the live training talking about how to build businesses from scratch. That's going to be the value because this is something that I've done several times and I'm really good at. And we're gonna be talking about the things you need because stuff you're not gonna see on YouTube. You may find a blog here or there with this kind of content on it, which means you gotta read, but it ain't on YouTube, it ain't on YouTube. But if you wanna become a member of the Art of Holding, I'm building it out. Give me four more weeks to get a lot of stuff in there and then we get to live training, then it's gonna kind of slow down a little bit. And then links below. Now, also, if you were in the corporate toolbox and you did not make your payments, this is a chance for you to re-engage and know you're not going to get the YouTube super creative. Only the people who are in the corporate toolbox, since I've closed that to new people, are going to get the YouTube super creative and some other stuff that I haven't yet fully fleshed out. So that's going to go down. 
So go below if you want to be part of the art of holding. And I will see you guys in the next video.